Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a meta refresh for your WordPress blog. Now what this is, is a redirect, but it's different than HD Access redirect in that it's not instant. So somebody will visit your site, they will see your site for an amount of time that you determine, and then they'll be redirected. And you use this if you don't have access to your HD Access file or you're not able to install a plugin that can do redirects. And that's really the only time you want to use this. It's kind of an old school way to do redirects, but it's a useful alternative if you don't have access to anything else. And doing it is really simple. So I'm currently logged into the backend dashboard of the WordPress site, of our demo site. I'm just going to go to Appearance and then Editor. I'm going to Find. On the right hand side is the list of all the files in the template. I'm going to find the header.php file, which is right here. Click on that. And that will load the file contents in the editor here. And then I'm going to copy and paste this meta refresh code, which I also have down in the description below this video. So you don't have to type this out. You can copy and paste it as well. The one caveat is the greater than and less than symbols are not allowed in YouTube descriptions. So in place of these, I have written uh, left hand pointy bracket and then on the right side right hand pointy bracket because YouTube allows me to do that they don't allow the actual pointy brackets or greater than less than symbols so you have to replace these with the correct symbols so it looks like this and what this will do is refresh the page and it will load this content or the content in this tag, which is zero, which is the amount of time it's gonna to take to load the content, zero seconds, and it's gonna load this URL. In my case, google.com, you can put whatever URL you want. You could even have just a different page on your site for this URL. But you can have whatever URL you want here. And this, of course, can be any number of seconds that you want. I'm just gonna set to zero, which is the fastest refresh time, and you're gonna see it's not that fast you can still see the page load before it redirects. So I just saved that file, I'm gonna visit the site, we see it load, and then we're redirected to google.com. So if we change this to five seconds, save this file, and then we load the page again, we will see it takes five, four, three, two, one, pretty close then it redirects. And that is a meta refresh. And like I said, you only want to use this if you don't have access to your HT access file, or you don't have access, or I don't have the ability to install a plugin that will do the redirect. And it's a good alternative if you can't have access to those two things. Hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to your YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where I publish more tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.